The Asian tsunami of December 2004 dealt a massive blow to countries in the Indian Ocean Rim. It left a trail of destruction in many towns and villages in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Soon after the disaster, local people and experts reported how coastal locations with mangrove forests or coral reefs suffered less damage. This natural protection is now known as the Greenbelt Effect. Today we are going back to one location where it happened, the village of T.S. Petai. The village lies behind the Pichavara mangroves. When the tsunami waves hit, much of their force was absorbed by the complex root system of mangroves. As a result, the damage was much less. People in neighboring villages noticed the difference. Tsunami and the Arikul will pitch over and Taso Petala in the Manasayam Milana Angula, Mancro, Mancro Cardan. Cardu Hilda and the Tanira Tadute and the Makala in the Manapari Pilama Kapatisi. Scientists at the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation had been pointing this out for several years. Based on this, the Chennai based organization has encouraged coastal villages to develop or safeguard natural barriers for their protection. Mangrove plants has got its own uh, system of roots as well as uh, these uh, branching systems. When the mangrove grows very close, uh, they just become a biological barrier. So when the water comes in and hit these roots first, uh, it, you know, it absorbs most of the energy. That's one reason why uh, the, you know, after crossing the mangroves, the speed of the water reduce, got reduced. Usually, canals are found where mangroves grow. These canals help distribute the excess water brought in by tsunamis or cyclones. When there is no mangrove, coastal areas are vulnerable to wave action and other disasters. During the tsunami, the nearby villages of Mjiatitu and Mulukutere found this out. They are located at almost the same elevation and distance from the sea. <laughs> Scientists looked for hard data to confirm anecdotal evidence from local people. One method was to compare satellite images of the villages taken before and after the tsunami. In these false color maps, tree cover is shown in red. Close analysis showed how places with more tree cover suffered less damage. This has reinforced the need to develop protective green belts along India's vast coastal areas. We wanted to develop a small model, a community-based one, at the same time, science-centered approach to restore and conserve the mangrove forest. So we started our work in the Pichara mangrove. The foundation always involves local people in this work. Here, in Pichavaram, more canals have been built to allow tidal waters to move freely. Village mangrove councils are managing nurseries and plantations. Its success has inspired a joint mangroves management program, which brings together the community, research institutions and the government's forest department. The idea is to conserve mangroves while generating enough income and jobs for local people. They don't need any more reminders on the value of mangroves. <laughs>